those online watching and tuning in to tonight's prayer meeting. Um, before we start, I want us to take a few minutes to just give him thanks. Let's just begin to thank him for all that he has done for us, even today, for waking us up this morning, for, you know, we going to our place of work, and, and for some, those going back home safely. There are so many things that could have happened on the road. There are so many things that could have have happened today. So I want you to take a few minutes to just give him thanks. We're entering his gates this tonight with thanksgiving. We're entering his courts with praise. Come on, just begin to thank him. Lord, we thank you for, for keeping us. We thank you for sustaining us. We thank you for the gift of life. Because those in the mortuary can lift their hands to praise you. Those who are dead can worship you. But you've made it fit for us to be alive and well. Now I want you to just begin to magnify him. I want you to begin to call him by his name. I want you to begin to exalt him. I want you to begin to show back his name. Lord, you were worthy to receive all glory, to receive all honor, to receive all adoration. You are the king of glory. You are the I am that I am. Oh, there is no one like unto you. Lord, we bless your name tonight. Lord, we honor you. Let's begin to just thank him for what he's going to do in our midst. Just say something to him. Tell him what you want him to do tonight. Speak to him. Tell him what you want him to do for you tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Tell your neighbor he is worthy to be praised. I can't, I can't hear you. Tell your neighbor, he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. Woo! Right where you are, just begin to dance. Oh. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. Hey. Say glory, say glory, glory. Say hallelujah, say hallelujah, say glory, say glory, say hallelujah, You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. You are worthy to be praised.
anybody believe that tonight? You are able, Yahweh. You are able, Yahweh. You're able to do exceeding and abundantly above all we could ask or think. Great on. 
sovereign God. How great you are, Master of the universe. How great you are, God, all by yourself. How great, how great.
Lord, we worship you. You are our strength when we're weak. We have come here tonight to seek your face. Holy Spirit, we need you. Give us strength. Give us wisdom. Give us direction. Help us to pray correctly tonight. Lord, in every area of our supplication, Lord, we ask that you will give us victory in our prayer tonight. Lord, we pray that every supplication, every request that we make at your altar tonight, Lord, we pray that you will help us to give us good victory tonight. Give us victory over every challenge. Give us victory over everything that we may have deemed to be impossible in the name of Jesus. We have come here tonight with our faith high, with strength and belief that we have come to meet a God with whom nothing is impossible. And so, Lord, tonight, we ask that you will strengthen our faith, that the word of the scripture we will read tonight, Lord, let it strengthen our faith. That whatever we decree here tonight shall be decreed in heaven. Whatever we lose shall be lost in heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, sanctify us with your word. Your word is the truth. As we pray tonight, Holy Spirit, give us direction. Help us to pray correctly. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have worshipped. Amen. God bless you. You may take your seats in the presence of the Lord. I want to welcome you all to tonight's prayer meeting. Um, we're in for a very powerful night. I need you to be very 
uh, involved in what we're going to do tonight. Don't just observe. I need you to be actively involved. Because I believe with all my heart that whatever that is humanly impossible in your life, the Lord will make it possible for you. In the name of Jesus. Whatever that has been declared as impossible, whatever that has been declared as unattainable, whatever that has been declared difficult, the Lord will make it easy for you tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please turn with me, if you will, to the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 36 to 38. The book of Luke. We want to read from verse 36 to 38. And then we will go to Matthew chapter 19 to 26. Luke chapter 1, 36 to 38 says, What's more, your relative Elizabeth has become pregnant in her old age. People used to say she was barren. But she has conceived a son and is now in her sixth month pregnant. For the word of God will never fail. Somebody say the word of God will never fail. Concerning you, concerning me, the word of God will not fail in your life. It says, she has conceived a son and is now in her sixth month. Not only is she pregnant, the pregnancy is advancing. Not only will God answer your prayer, you will excel. For the word of God will never fail. Verse 38. Mary responded, I am the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come true. And then the angel left her. Praise the Lord. Matthew 19. 26. Matthew 19. Twenty six says. Jesus looked at them intently and said, Humanly speaking, it's impossible. It's it's Humanly speaking, it is impossible. But with God, everything is what? Possible. Praise the Lord. So, humanly speaking, it's not possible. So, there are situations in our life that from a human perspective, humanly speaking, it's not workable. It's not possible. So tonight I want us to understand so that we can be rest assured and then ask God to help increase our faith. Because there are some things in our lives that are humanly impossible to achieve. And no matter how you hit your head on that wall or knock on that door if the Lord says that that thing is humanly impossible then that thing becoming possible can only happen with a divine intervention and I'm praying tonight that everything that is humanly impossible in your life and mine as we believe God in prayer, it shall be possible to you. Amen. You know, at times, on the issue of health, doctors try. Even when doctors know that it won't work, they will just tell, 
the patient something to just keep them going. Because by reason of their profession, they are not really trained to preach doom or to they find a way to make it manageable. There are some conditions, sickness, that there is no cure for them. They may have drugs for them. Those drugs are just nothing but maintenance. But as a matter of cure, permanent cure, there is none. So those things are classified as humanly speaking, is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. That should energize our faith. In the name of Jesus. Because if all we got is humanly speaking. Then we are most miserable. Thank God. That humanly speaking is not our last option. Thank God. That humanly speaking is not our last option. Because if that was our last option, oh my God, there will be so much despair. People will be frustrated. People will come back from the hospital dejected. They want to commit suicide. They want to take poison. They, thank God that humanly speaking is not our last option. In the name of Jesus Christ. In this year that we're in. I don't know what is humanly impossible in your life. May God make it possible for you. That which people say is impossible. In your life. In this year 2020. You will embrace an uncommon grace. To succeed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Daniel chapter 3. Daniel chapter 3 verse 12. We want to read from verse 12. To. 30. 3 zero. Amen. Daniel chapter 3. Let's read from verse 3. Say, but these are some of the Jews that Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, whom you have put in charge of the province of Babylon. They pay no attention to you, your majesty. They refuse to serve you, gods, and do not worship the gold statue you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar flew into a rage and ordered that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be brought before him. And when they were brought in, Nebuchadnezzar said to them, is it true? Can we just move to 30? You know the story. Let me just save some time. Verse 30, please. 30. No, no, no. Let's go back to the verse that says, let me see the God. Which verse is that? That will deliver you out of my hand. Anyway, we know the story. 19. 19, thank you. Verse 19. There's something I want to bring out there. Nebuchadnezzar was so furious with the three Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that his face became distorted with rage. He commanded that the furnace be heated seven times hotter than usual. Next verse. Then he ordered some of the strongest men. Next verse. Next verse. I think it's like 20. No. It's there. I just don't know which verse. Verse 29? 1-5. Okay, let's go to 
one five. This is it? No, this is twenty one. Okay. Okay. And then what God will be able to rescue you from my power. Now, when I read this, this was a man who challenged God. And after he said that, this man did still did not bow to his command. Because they realized that that was humanly speaking. Because God has not spoken. Therefore, that cannot be final. So, therefore, they did not bow. But when he said that, who is this God who will deliver you from my hands? Maybe we find ourselves in a situation that man has set a ceiling that says this is how far you can rise. Or this is the limit for you. As children of God, I want us to know that you are not limited by human perspective. As long as God is on the throne, you have an option. In the name of Jesus. And tonight I declare over every life, every power and principality, Challenging the power of God in your life shall be defeated in the name of Jesus. Every power principality. Maybe you're believing God for something and there are powers and principalities that are working against your goal. Tonight they shall be defeated. Tonight they shall be overthrown. Every citadel of wickedness in your life shall be overthrown. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It was practically impossible for them to escape the furnace from human perspective. But with God, nothing shall be impossible. Amen. Nothing shall be impossible. Tonight, I have good news for someone. The God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego will extinguish every enemy fire in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything God created must obey God. Everything God created must obey God. Amen, church. The river Nile obeyed God. There were many children that were dropped into the river Nile. But when Moses was dropped in there, all the crocodile incorporated. That this is one baby that will not be touched. Everything God created must obey God. The river Jordan obeyed God. Even the fire obeyed God. If God does not command fish to move, there were many. Listen, when before Jonah was thrown down, a whale, a big fish, the Bible calls it, already received instruction to wait for him. And that's why I'm so excited about the God you and I serve. That everything he created obeys him. God delivered them from impossibility. That fire, the command of man that says, let me see which God will deliver you. And every principality that is challenging the goodness of God in your life, God will give you success. God will give you success. God will give you success. Do you know when that man, King Nebuchadnezzar said, let me see the God, he passed his boundary. Amen, George. He did what? He passed his boundary. When he hit the fire seven times, heaven was watching him. 
He did all he could do. And then he capped it with that statement. Let me see the God. Hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet. I came here tonight full, overflowing with faith in my heart. That the Lord will change every difficult situation in your life. The Lord will change every impossible situation in your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We serve a mighty God. We serve a powerful God. There are times when God sits above and laughs at the enemy. The enemy tries his best. The enemy do all manner of things to frustrate us. God laughs at the enemy. God laughed at the king when he said, let me see the God that will deliver you in, in, in from my hand. God allowed him to do his best. And after he has done his best, God took over. From tonight, the Lord will take over your problem. The Lord will take over your challenges. The Lord will take over your impossibilities. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Everyone doubting the goodness of God in your life, the Lord will surprise them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God delivered them from impossibility. Tonight, I want you, for those of you listening over the internet, and for those of us that are here, is there anything in your life that is called impossible? Is there anything from human perspective that has been called impossible? Tonight, the Spirit of God is here to energize our faith, to believe God to change our situation. Is there anything in your life? Maybe it's your health. Maybe it's your finances. Whatever it may be, the God of Shadrach, the God of Abednego, the God of Mission, who did not allow them to be put to shame, will not allow you to be put to shame. Will not allow you to be put to shame. The Lord will not allow you to be put to shame. Tonight, I want you to cry to God. The God of Meshach, the God of Shadrach, the God of Abednego. Tonight, concerning my situation, I believe in my heart that though humanly speaking, they said it's impossible. But because with you all things are possible, I receive deliverance over that situation. I receive deliverance over that situation. I want you to pray, beloved. I receive deliverance. I receive healing over that sickness. I receive deliverance over that condition. Pray in the name of Jesus. The God of Mishak, the God of Abednego will set you free today. Will set you free today. Will set you free today. Pray my brothers and my sisters. receive deliverance from every impossibility I receive deliverance from every impossibility I receive deliverance from every closed door I receive an open door open your mouth and declare declare with your own mouth because our God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above what we may ever think or imagine pray my brothers and my sisters Yes, I receive deliverance from every difficulty that is confronting me. That thing 
that is bothering your mind I receive deliverance is it your health is it your finances is it your emotional well-being receive your deliverance the God who said Meshach free Abednego free will set you free in the name of Jesus name we are praying I want you to build a faith around Matthew 19 26 I want you to look at that scripture and let faith arise in you please project Matthew 19 26 in the NLT look at that scripture let it ignite faith in you please walk with me Matthew 19 26 Listen, it says, Jesus looked at them intently. He was looking at his disciples. That when he said intently, and said, humanly speaking, it is impossible. But with God, everything is possible. When they say Jesus looked at them intently. If you can focus your eyes on that difficulty, on that condition tonight. Maybe the medical expert says, humanly speaking, concerning your condition. Look at yourself. Look at your situation. And let faith arise. That my God is on the throne. 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 My life will not be defined by humanly speaking. My life will not be defined by what science has said. My life will be defined by what the word has said. What does the word say? The word says, but with God. But with God, but with God, everything is possible. Everything is possible. Everything is possible. My health is possible. My finances is possible. My marriage is possible. My business is possible. It is possible. It is possible. My healing is possible. My deliverance is possible. My breakthrough is possible. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray. My breakthrough is possible. My miracle is possible. It is possible. Yes, Father. My breakthrough is possible. My healing is possible. My deliverance is possible. Because God says it's possible. Because God says it's possible. Because God says. Because my God says it is possible. 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 Mary 
responded in Luke 1, 38. Mary responded, I am the Lord's servant. You say to yourself, I'm a child of God. May everything you have said about me come true. After she heard that Elizabeth was pregnant, that she's six months advanced, and the Bible is quick to say that, it says that uh, 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 um, she got pregnant in her old age. What is more, your relative Elizabeth has become pregnant in her old age. Bible is clear to put it like that so that we will know when it happened and how humanly speaking is difficult for it to happen. People used to say she was barren in the name that is above her name. Every negative thing people used to say about you receive a turn around tonight. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. He said, people used to say she was barren. They used to say she was sick. They used to say she was broke. Whatever people used to say about you, may the Lord change your story. Whatever negative people used to say about you, may the Almighty God change your story from tonight. In the name of Jesus. People used to say she was barren. But she has conceived a son and is now in her sixth month. I pray in the name of Jesus. Whatever God will start in your life after this prayer meeting, nobody can stop it. Nobody can stop it. No demon can stop it. No principality can stop it. No power of darkness can stop it. Shout a louder, amen. Shout a louder, amen. The Bible says she's pregnant and is now six months. Whatever the Lord starts from tonight in your life, it shall come to fruition. It shall come to maturity. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The healing God has started in your body tonight shall be perfected. to pray to God say I receive grace of God to fulfill divine plan for my life I will not fall I will not fail in the name of Jesus receive grace the grace of God to fulfill the divine plan of God for your life you will not fall into the hand of your enemy. Receive grace to destroy every plan of the enemy concerning your life. Every plan of the enemy concerning your life. Receive grace tonight. To overcome in the name of Jesus. Mordecai and Esther received grace. To destroy. The works of their enemy. Called Haman. Look at. Esther chapter 7. Verse 5 to 10. Esther chapter 7.
the Lord shall make impossible situation possible for you. Esther chapter 7 verse 5 says who will do such a thing? The king Esther demanded. Who will be so presumptuous as to touch you? Who will be so presumptuous as to touch you? Esther replied, this wicked Haman is our adversary and our enemy. Haman grew pale with fright before the king and the queen. Then the king jumped to his feet in a rage and went out into the palace garden. It jumped out in a rage. This is a human king. Jumped out in a rage that Esther and Mordecai is being harassed. Tonight I pray every enemy of your life may heaven rise to fight for you. May heaven rise to fight for you. May the host of heaven rise to fight for you. He says, then the king jumped out to his feet in a rage and went out to the palace garden. Haman, however, stayed behind to plead for his life with the queen Esther. For he knew that the king intended to kill him. In despair, he fell on the couch where Queen Esther was recycling. Just as the king was returning from the palace garden, the king exclaimed, exclaimed Will he even assault the queen right here in my palace? Before my very eyes. And as soon as the king spoke, his attendant covered a man's face. Tonight, I want you to pray. I don't know the forces that are fighting against your life. In whichever form. I want you to pray, say, Father, I receive grace to override every evil ordinance concerning my life. Every evil ordinance concerning my family. I receive grace to override them. I receive grace to override them. Every evil ordinance concerning your moving forward in life. I receive grace to override them. Listen, when you talk about grace to override, remember, Haman had already plotted destruction. And Haman somehow was present in front of the king. And Mordecai was present. Esther was present. And he had already dug the gallo. He has already planned to exterminate the Jews. But God gave them grace. While in the presence of Haman, the grace of God overrides the plans of the enemy. To the point that the enemy began to misbehave. And the king got angry. May God fight your battle for you. May God fight your battle for you. Every battle from the pit of hell that is threatening your peace of mind. May God fight your battle for you. May God fight your battle for you. May God fight your battle for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The impossible became possible for the Jews because God delivered them from a demonic ordinance. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Look at Esther chapter 8, verse 3 to 8. Esther chapter 8, verse 3 to 8. Esther chapter 8, verse 3 to 8. Pray for the grace of God upon our lives tonight. Wherever you're facing 
enemy attack. Receive grace tonight. Receive grace tonight. May the Lord pour out his grace over our lives tonight. You will not be defeated. The enemy will not overrun your life. In the name of Jesus. Then Esther went again before the king, falling down at his feet. I'm, begin, I'm, I, I'm begging him with tears to stop the evil plot devised by Haman. The Agagite against the Jews. Again, the king held out the gold scepter. May you receive grace from God. Whatever that is threatening your peace of mind, may you receive grace from God. Stretch his scepter. So she rose and stood before him. Esther said, If it pleases the king, and if I have found favor with him, and if he thinks it's right, and if I'm pleasing to him, let there be a decree. Let there be a decree that reverses the orders of Haman. Tonight, may you receive grace to reverse every irreversible in your life. Let there be a decree to reverse the orders of Haman, the son of Hamadai, the Agagite, who ordered the Jews throughout all the king's province to be destroyed. For how can I endure to see my people and my family slaughtered and destroyed? Then the king Esther said to the queen, Esther and Mordecai, I have given Esther the property of Haman. Ah, may God give you upper hand over your enemies. I have given Esther the property of Haman. And he has been impelled on a pole because he tried to destroy the Jews. Now, go ahead. Send the message to the Jews in the king's name. In whose name? In whose name? This is a human king. But we have a name that is above. That is a what? Above every other name. Telling them, listen, telling them whatever you want. It says, now go and send a message to the Jews in the king's name. Telling them whatever you want. And seal it with the king's ring. But remember, whatever has already been written in the king's name and sealed with his signet can never be revoked. But guess what? Haman got authority to seal destruction in the king's name. And they said that whatever the king has decreed cannot be reversed. But because of Esther and Mordecai, the irreversible was reversed. Every irreversible situation that is humanly speaking, receive your deliverance. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. He says to them, write whatever you want on it. Before Haman's decree was that every Jew must just stand and be killed. When God gave them grace, the new law says, defend yourself. Don't just stand and be killed. Defend yourself. And God empowered them. That which was designed to destroy them, God empowered them. Tonight, I pray the Holy Spirit will empower every one of us here tonight. 
in the name of Jesus that the Holy Spirit will empower us to overcome every plan of the enemy to steal your peace of mind in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus oh father we thank you father we worship you Lord we thank you we receive grace to overcome the impossibilities oh God my father let your supernatural power reverse the irreversible in every area of my life let your supernatural power reverse the irreversible in every area of my life oh God my father by your mighty hand let every irreversible be reversed tonight let every irreversible be reversed tonight in the name of Jesus let every physical and spiritual challenge in my life be resolved tonight my brothers and my sisters every physical challenge every spiritual challenge every challenge with your health we declare them resolved we declare them resolved in the name of God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit we declare them reversed we declare them resolved in the name of Jesus by the authority in the name of Jesus whatever that has been impossible to accomplish in my life I declare them possible I declare them possible whatever that has been possible to accomplish in your life I declare them possible I declare them possible I declare them possible every chain of impossibility we command you to break every chain of impossibility we command you to break every fetters of impossibility we command you to break 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 every spiritual limitation we lift it up every embargo of success we lift them up tonight we lift them up tonight every lead upon your life we remove them tonight we remove them tonight we remove them tonight in the name of Jesus wherever you have been tied down receive your freedom wherever you have been tied down receive your deliverance receive your deliverance receive your deliverance receive your deliverance I hear the Lord speaking to everything that has tied you down just like Jesus sent his servant you will go into that city you will see a colt untie it if anybody asks you why you're doing it tell them the master had need of it tonight I declare in the name of Jesus whatever that is tying you down to one place the master had need of your life we command it loose we command it loose 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 in the name of Jesus Christ Lord we thank you Lord we thank you thank you Jesus only you are worthy Jesus. Thank you, Father. Just go ahead and worship the Lord. Thank you. Worship him, worship him, worship him. Worship him tonight. Worship him. For what is done right now, worship him. Worship Only him. You are wonderful. There is no one. For there's no one.
encouraged tonight that when the king says let me see the God who will deliver you from my hand I know that God his name is Yahweh his name is Yahweh the all powerful God his name is Yahweh Everyone doubting the goodness of God in your life. Everyone saying to you, it's not going to be possible. I want you to worship him right now. The Lord is making it possible for you. With faith in your heart, declare his name. His name is Yahweh. Yes. Can we worship the Lord? Whatever is impossible, he is the God Almighty. His name is Yahweh. The God of Shadrach, the God of Misha, the God of Abednego. Worship him for your deliverance tonight. Worship him for your breakthrough. Worship him for your healing. your story let me see the God the furnace is heated seven times let me see that God tonight I challenge your faith my faith to look up to the almighty God he's that God that King Nebuchadnezzar despised and God rose up on behalf of his children. May the Lord rise up for you. May the Lord rise up for you. Listen. When the people were locked up in the dungeon, 
Paul and Silas. The Lord rose up for them in the form of an earthquake. When Peter was locked in the prison, the Lord rose up for him, sent an angel to release him, to show man that you have done your worst. I'm going to release Paul and Silas and nobody can stop them. I'm going to release Peter and nobody can stop them. The Bible says that Peter walked out of the jail. By the time he got to the iron gate, not even the iron gate could stop them. The iron gate opened on his own accord. His name is Yahweh. His name is Yahweh. Shall we worship this Yahweh tonight? I want you to receive that healing. Receive that deliverance. Yes, he's that God. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. And in you I trust my life is in your in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will will be done in heaven as it your will will be done on earth as it is in heaven father we want to thank you for every declaration that has been made tonight father we connect to it by faith and just as you said, not by man, but it is through you that all the impossibilities will be made possible. Father, we believe in the possibility that lies in your name. We believe in you turning things around. Father, tonight, our faith is activated for making closed doors to be opened. Our faith is ignited that the mountains are moving, that the valleys are elevated, that God tonight, by the decree and the word of prayers that has gone forth, into our future into our life into our destinies we shall return with testimonies father tonight we know oh god that every battle that you have defeated for us remain defeated in the name of jesus they will not rise up again in the name of jesus every symbol of Haman. Every symbol, oh God, that looks like an enemy resisting your will, your plan, 
opposing that which you have freely given to us. Yes, Lord. By your word tonight, we overcome in the name of Jesus. Every symbol that looks or represents Nebuchadnezzar that has challenged you, our God, Jehovah Yahweh. By the same word tonight, we receive our victory. Thank you, Father. We thank you for your servant that you have used. We pray, oh God, in the same order that you have used him to be a blessing to us. The Bible says, he that water shall also be watered. We pray, may you conquer every Nebuchadnezzar, every symbol of armor in his life, in his family, in his business, in his ministry, in the name of Jesus. Let him have testimony of overcoming. Every opposition or every form of limitation around him, against him, in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for Jesus' house. Because by the same order of prayer tonight, you have broken every limitation. Every limitation to growth. Every limitation to maturity. Every limitation to expansion. Every limitation to spiritual insight. They are removed completely in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Take all the glory and praise, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. With the next song now, we're going to sing, we're going to dance, we're going to give with understanding that God, Jehovah Yahweh, has answered us and he has perfected all the words of our prayers in Jesus' name.
Jesus. Father, we have offered our offering as a token of our love to worship you again tonight. Father, we pray, let this serve as a memorial in your book of records. And Father, as we give this tonight, let it be a seed for opening of those closed doors, of crushing those block roads of causing those gates that were shut against us to be made open. Father, we pray, O oh God, that everyone who has given tonight will receive in abundance blessings that are overflowing, shaking over, running over in return for this giving in the name of Jesus. Father, we use this as a point of contact to every mess in their finances that you will correct and you will stitch them in the name of Jesus. Where there has been insufficiency in finance, by the reason of this giving tonight, let there be abundance in the life of every giver tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. We give you all the glory and praise. May your name be glorified. Let all that this will be used for be for the glory and praise of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. All right. Um, on Thursday, we shall continue our service on Zoom platform uh, to study, to continue our study in the book of Act of Apostles. Uh, the book of Acts of the Apostles, and we shall be looking at chapters 10, 11, and 12. Um, chapter 12, 11, and 10, 11, and 12 are very, very important. Um, we want you to join us on that uh, Zoom platform. I'm sure that a lot of us have the Zoom um, ID and the password. It seems they are displayed on online. And we look forward to a great time of great insight. And the God of the apostles will also help us to be filled in the spirit and to spread the gospel the way they are spreading the gospel in Jesus' name. All right. And of course, on Sunday, let's come together again. Uh, the church is open. You can call in. And you can also let us know uh, because we are now back. The church, the church is open now. The church is free to meet now. And just let us know when you are coming in. God bless you. We want to see your faces again. And we want you to still keep uh, observing all the health uh, precautions. God bless you. Let's arise as we share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Tap somebody's elbow. Say, surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. 
Amen.